Welcome to episode 284 of the Bear Trap on the Boomer Bus channel, a Bears podcast by a Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry, and today we are going to look at our run game against the Detroit Lions. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this started. So we got quite a bit. Uh, there's 27 carries between um, Montgomery and Patterson, and we're going to work through a, a good amount. We'll see... Uh, what we get through so this is first and 10 um they do a jet motion with miller and then a split zone we are pretty heavy inside zone this year split zone just being another version of that so you're going to see the tight end come back side it was a pretty decent <laughs> i'm sorry right away um, I need to tell my boy this because I was trying to tell him this and he didn't believe me. I'm like, Dave Montgomery's vision isn't super great. And so, again, right away, issues. This is where it hits. This is where it's supposed to hit. He's playing outside leverage, overextended for the jet. Good combo up here. That gap is wide open. But Montgomery cuts it back before going where you would want him to. I mean, he's right on path. And he cuts it back where there's a bunch of trash. He does that all the time. I just don't get it. All right, moving on. I'm about to sit here on that. So second and 10, so it looks like it was uh, no game. So it looks like another split zone. This time, a good gain off the second effort. So I'm second down. They got a bunch of trips. They jet. And then they split zone to the same side as the jet. I like that a little better. In a, in a big hole. That's a lot. I mean, that's fine. It worked on that play, obviously. That's just a lot of extra stuff for no reason sometimes. But anyway, let's look at the blocking. They move quick. Um, so at the point of attack, 58 linebacker, you got him. Hold on, let me go back. This went really quick. <laughs> All right, so the way it's lined up, um, a fatty's gonna go to the edge either way. Now you got two linebackers walked up into the A gaps, and then you got an extra backer here. So that's what really was. But that makes it easier because now it's man for man. And then 42 takes himself out of the play initially, uh, off the potential play action. And they really had more than we can block, but since 42 took himself out of the play, everybody got a hat on a hat even though one person fell. And then good extra effort by Montgomery. But sometimes it's just like, man, run the path. All right, so third and one. Still in the first quarter. And the exact same thing, split zone. Did he not make it? It's been a minute. I don't think, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. They just showed it. It don't look like he made it. Looks super short to me. It looks like he lost some yards. Okay, so, yeah. Split zone again. They're going to, again, bring the tight end across and inside zone the other way. And I like it the same side as the jet because that gives you a lot to look at. Now, this one I'm not super mad at uh, Montgomery for this because... The point of attack, first of all, you're running towards a B-gap defender, so that's already an issue. So now it's going to have to go one for one here. And then Musford, and then you got this guy here. So it's like you got to pick your poison of where you want to go. So you step down. 58 removes himself. 42's there. I mean, it's a bad look. It's a bad look for us. Like, there's there's not enough people for us to block. I mean, you got four down. Uh, then you got these three seven. I mean, 
it, it, it's a tough thing, especially because the, they're not on the edge. They're like on the line. And so at that point, somebody's going to be open. And 42 ended up being the one open, and he scrapes over the top. Yeah, I I can't really blame Montgomery too much on that. All right, so first and 10, we're still in the first quarter. Looks like Cordero is up this time. We run a jet, <laughs> jet motion, split zone, same thing. It's interesting how much we run the same thing. Now, we do got more people on the line. Now, you bring a tight end in line. Obviously, Jimmy Graham's going to come back on the split. So, now this does change up the math. This splits them up a little bit. This makes it a little more effective uh, for you. And you can see uh, 25 over steps. Cordell makes that cutback right up into the lane, follows the blocks really well. So let's go back a little bit. And again, I mean, the pre-snap, you see what what you're able to do. And they got a lot of people. I mean, these are four down linemen. I don't know. Is that still Kennard 42? Because like, he's been around a lot of different places. But essentially, that's seven in the box. Then you got the slot because of the bunch. So you got a lot of people on the line. But when you bring the extra tight end, now this changes up. Not to mention... Kennard's not on the line. He's all the way backed up. That changes a lot. Now, if Kennard is standing on the line or on the edge, that makes things a little different. But now this picture is a little more clear. So, excuse me, Charles Leno knows he's going to go to the edge guy. Um, these two are going to combo to 58. These two are going to combo to 59. Um, Komet's free to go to 42, and Jimmy's coming backside. So the, the picture is a little more clear. You get a little more standard look here. And then you just hope that Jet takes him out of the picture. I don't know why Komet blocked down. You had three people on the same people. I mean, I guess he could go straight to the linebacker. I would have had him go to the third level. That's just me. But um, anyway, again... You had um, you had the natural lane in that B gap, the nickel defender overstepped, and then Cordell was able to cut back. So first and five, Cordell's back up. So you got three to one side, and they do a toss. Really nice game. I tried to tell, and that was the argument we was having. I was like, Cordero has better vision than <laughs> than Montgomery. He just he does at this point in time. Not to say he always will, but that's what he has. So you got this ace look that you bring over to have a pair. They don't really move over, so some type of zone. But either way. Now you got a zone look. Okay, now this they got an extra defender backside. We got an extra defender play side. And it's just a simple toss. They all zone down. Uh, Komet and Jimmy did a good job. And then Jimmy did a good job on that edge. I mean, really, it was just a simple you outflanked them. They weren't lined up. Uh, first and 10 when the first quarter. Wildcat. Good second effort. I wouldn't be shocked if it's, if this is just a zone. Not a big fan of the Wildcat stuff, man. I just, th these guys usually mess up the handoffs and stuff. Let's see, they actually do kind of like a, a little bit of a counter. So they're going to pull uh, white hair around. Everybody else is going to block down. They're going to pull him around. And then Komet's also going to lead, which is interesting. So everybody blocks down. 
It's coming to the edge. Now, white hair messes up a little bit. And again, good balance, good run by um, David Montgomery to have that second effort. But so white hair, they leave the edge unblocked. White hair needs to come block the edge. Whitehair turns up and goes to the linebacker, leaving the edge unblocked. Now, I don't know if they're supposed to be reading him. Ah, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. They did a veer look, which in that case, I would say that's impressive by Dave Montgomery because some quarterbacks don't even do that well. So they were reading the edge, and since he bounced out with Cordero, uh, Montgomery took it. That's that's pretty impressive job, plus the effort after. Uh, first and 10, still in the first quarter. Whole lot of running. This is what we wanted to see. So jet motion, split zone again. And really, I mean, the Lions just were not tackling well. We know that was that was a big issue for this game. Montgomery with those second efforts. Um, so very almost near identical to what we saw earlier in, in terms of the lineup. Got this bunch set. You're going to jet motion and you're going to do the split to the same side, which I say I like because it do. Now, white hair doesn't get a great block, but an, at least seals off the block. Now, the Play is supposed to hit in the B gap. So you would like to see white hair be able to step and overtake this gap. Wasn't able to, but still did a good job of sealing it off. And um, like I tell Lyman, when in doubt, put your butt to the play. So 58 darts inside, put your butt to the play. Let the running back run behind it. It's a good job. I mean, that's that's how it's supposed to look. That's a huge block in the back by Mooney. But either way, that's how it's supposed to look on zone where you could get them to the uh, second and third level. And that linebacker, I mean, that's what happens. The linebacker comes to you instead of, you know, getting all in the way. Just push them out of the way, seal it off. Now there's no second level defender, so you're straight to the third level. So it was a good job adjusting by Whitehair right there. And then obviously a real good run by Montgomery. So second and 10, end of the first quarter. And it's just interesting, like, ooh, darn near running the same thing every play. I mean, that's how we've been all year. Now we know they don't have Danny Shelton. But let's see here. This was weird because Whitehair ran into Mustafa right there. But one thing that's interesting is that their linebackers are really filling hard. Like, they're not flowing over the top. They're, like, filling these gaps, which in zone kind of helps you out. Again, they take away that second-level defender, but they put in a lot of people in the box. So, again, I don't know why Whitehair blocked back so hard. But either way, 50 brought himself up to the line, so it was easy to seal him. And then you leave it one-on-one -on -one with the next defender. But yeah, White Hair doing, I mean, it's not like elite, but he's doing a heck of a job at that guard spot being physical. Which, again, I think he's a better guard than anything because his snaps just, they not it. So we do another toss with Cord Cordero. Our three tight ends set. I haven't seen Harrison forever. I mean, yeah, this is a cluster. Harris, his man kind of just stood there. Really, that's really what blew it up is like, and <laughs> sometimes, shoot, I mean, if you really getting beat bad, I tell the D-lineman fall, man. Because now the thing is Harris can't go anywhere And then Leno can't go anywhere Not that he fell on purpose But well Harris threw him actually 
So he tried to pancake him, but that kind of blew the thing up. And then the corner just did a really good job with outside leverage, not letting it uh, get outside and forcing it back in. I don't know. Some people really like tosses to the boundary. I'm not a fan of going to the short side of the field and tosses. That's just me. But uh, I know some people like it. So out of shotgun trips, just a regular inside zone. And then we got to start doing something off that jet as well because we do do that uh, jet look a lot under center when we run our inside zone, but there's nothing off of it. So eventually they just going to sit on it. Yeah. Uh, Montgomery, man, you got to, again, not that it's going to be a big game, but you got to go <laughs> all that dancing. You don't need to do that. So again, this should hit in the B gap. He's head up. So it's really, if I'm running back, I'm just reading this. Where does he go? Does he feel hard? Does he sit back? So he's engaged here now. Just go. Just go right there. Just go. I just, oh, my. Um, first and 10, we're in the second quarter. Looks like an ace four or ace pair formation. Or whatever you want to call it, ace deuce. People got all types of names for it. But either way, we got two tight ends to the same side, Komet and Jimmy. Looks like an inside zone. Yep. Our favorite. And these blocks are pretty good. Everybody's holding their own. I probably would have pushed it there, but honestly, it was going to be tough yards either way. The D-line is what I meant. Sorry. The, the D-line on Detroit, everybody's holding their own. Like, we're not getting a whole lot of movement. But again, the linebacker brings himself to the party. There's no second-level defender. That's the only reason I said I would have pressed that, because you probably would have hit it. But not a whole lot of movement off the line, so he was going to have to go into contact either way. Um, second and six out of the shotgun. Trips, probably going to be inside zone again. Uh, no, that's not, I actually like that. I know it's not inside zone. I saw the tackle set. It looked more like a draw. Or at least the way they blocked it, I should say. All right, so let's see. Well, I saw Leno pass that. I don't know if that was a... Uh switch up they did or if Leno did the wrong thing but hey I am a huge fan of pass setting on run plays backside huge fan so Bars and Mustafer they get blown up by 97 Mustafer recovers all right but Bars doesn't Bars loses and then just kind of stands there for a little bit like he eventually works up but gotta be better than that because he beats Bars. Now just keep going. Just keep going, Bars. Recover and keep going. And then Fetty got beat on the edge as well. But that's all second effort by... Uh, that's all second effort by David Montgomery. All right, first and five, second quarter. Uh, Cordero's in this time. And they do inside zone, and he's able to break it to the outside for the tutty. So let's see. We got our two tight ends on that side. Komet has a good step. Jimmy works up. I mean, that's nice to call that a hold. I don't know. I, I, I think there was a... Obviously, he's fast enough to get to the edge, but I think in terms of the way you want your run game to go, you probably should have hit it up this lane right here 
and only say that because he has leverage. And now that's what happens is once you try to outrun and the blocker doesn't know that you're running to the outside, his tendency is to grab when the defender's trying to pull away. And that's how a lot of holding happens. But they didn't call it. so. And I think they wanted that flag. And there was a case for it. All right, so first and 10. Uh, we're still in the second quarter. That looked like some got messed up, but it looked like a jet and then the inside zone. But I'm not sure. Somebody looked like they messed up. It looked like Jimmy thought he was supposed to be doing split zone. Not sure what happened there. But anyway, take one more look. And he shifts last second. So the B gap's closed. That's closed. Press the A gap. I mean, really, I would have just kept pressing the A gap. but Because you cut back into a lot of trash. But he was able to make it. Uh, work by making somebody miss. Yeah, those last second D line shifts, man. <laughs> those could be a killer. Those and stunts and all that stuff. So it looks like another inside zone. It, it blows my mind how a team can watch a team run the same play over and over and not know it's coming. All right, so inside zone again. Linebackers fill to the B gap, so you're going to have to cut back A. <laughs> Does it for a little bit, and then bounces it. And again, that holding. And I'd say that that was holding, but that's that's the situation you create. I think you should have uh, cut that back to the A gap. Uh, Second quarter, first and 10. Cordero Patterson again. Split zone, minimal gain, not even been a loss, nah, no gain. So we ran this a lot out of this bunch trip set. And so there's inside leakage there, linebackers already in the gap. I mean, there was nothing you could do, must have forgot beat. That's a tough one. Uh, towards the end of the second quarter. And a pretty good pickup by Montgomery. Looks like another inside zone. I mean, that's good short area quickness to switch direction. It is, it's kind of blown up, just kind of making something out of nothing. Um, the B gap's already filled. I mean, the cutback is there, so kind of could have took that right away, but kind of dances and bounces back. But um, pretty good pickup. 40 seconds left. I think I'm going to cut it at the half. Maybe I'll do the second half later. There's a lot of plays. Um, so same thing. Jet motion. Um, split zone. And I can already tell you he cut too early. So everybody's blocking down. Well, I take it back. I wouldn't say cut too. I mean, could have ran right in there, touched him, but not cut too early. But Komet, um, he missed his block on the edge. That's what really messed it up because play side, everybody was uh, stout on the defensive side. So looking at the cutback. But again, the, the reason that happens is because Montgomery's angle. Like, he's not even running as if 
he's headed to the B gap. Not to mention we keep running towards the B gap. I mean, but if you got this, it's going to be an A gap type thing. Either way, he's not running like he's going here. He's running like he's going here. And so that angle allows that defender to come straight down that line and get underneath Komet. If, if you're running the ball at an angle that you're supposed to, where you're coming, the play, all the zone is flowing this way, then that's going to give him a more of an arc, and that's going to give Komet a better chance to hit him. But when you're running it like you're about to come here, he's going to come straight through on the B line. And when he does that, Komet doesn't have much room to block him. Now, Komet still could have made that block a better block, but that's all that goes into it. But again, a good job by Montgomery to make something out of nothing. Are we towards the end of the third already? What? <laughs> all right. Hold on, let, let me just go. It's almost the end of the third quarter. This is the first time we ran the ball. And a big run by uh, Cordero. Let's see what we got here. The Jet. The second Jet. <laughs> and then the inside zone. I mean, the, the natural cutback, the natural cutback. I mean, that's that's what the zone is supposed to look like. So you got to open B gap. And so it's going to be edge here. These two to the linebacker, these two to the linebacker, and then commit on the backside edge. And so when you press this, you press it to the B gap. This linebacker brings himself up, takes himself out. This linebacker brings himself up. Everybody flows. It's a natural cutback. Then he just slipped trying to make a move. But it was a good run. Let's see. Yeah, I figure we ran right after that. So first and 10. This time we go to the I formation. I pro with Ryan Null. Minimal gain. Uh, see what we ran. Ran a weak zone away from the tight end. Or a weak lead zone, I should say. Uh, not a lot of movement. I mean, obviously, you can see they lined up in a odd front, which typically is better to deal with zone sometimes. So they they adjust it. <laughs> Finally, it's a good job by that lineman. Yeah, I mean, because I would say that was the way to go, but that lineman really made it difficult. He stayed in the gap. All right, second and eight. Getting towards the two minutes in the third. Out of the shotgun. And yeah, so they really went with that odd interior to help deal with that inside zone look. And that to me looks more like a dive. Let's see what we got. Detroit looks confused. <laughs> they look like they don't know if they Yeah, that's a straight dive play, which we don't run a whole lot. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not, and, and I don't know if maybe that's what Montgomery's used to doing, but there's a lot more room to do all that cutting back and whatnot in the die. I mean, you're not, you really would like it to go straight ahead, but when you got body on body like that, it's a lot easier to do that rather than a zone where there's clear, distinct, here's where the holes are. 
It looks like so he got blew up in the backfield. Backside linebacker just knifed in. I mean, that's a good play by him. It's hard to block him uh, when he's uh, shooting the gap like that. All right, so fourth quarter, first and ten. I think we are up three. We're down the field. Cordero gets the handoff, gets another decent gain. Three tight ends set. Which I like running our inside zone out of that. Linebacker goes backside, took himself right out of that play, and just took it right down the natural lane through the uh, towards the B gap. First and ten. Same thing. Our split zone. Looks like Montgomery does a cutback. Now, should he have done it? We shall see. So, we should get here. That's manned up. That's to him. That's all. Yeah, that's done. Natural cutback lane. I don't know why he went back into the trash. Instead of just following Komet, but uh, first and ten, six thirty left. That one looked more like a dive, and that was blown up for a loss. We're up ten at this point, out of our. Three tight end. Nope, that's a zone. All right, let's back up. That was... Okay, so they're in this odd. I mean, Mustafer's got to make... He's got to win. I mean, but it, even with that, you're going to have a linebacker that's not <laughs> blocked. They just had too many people. Too many people when they went head up. All right, so towards the end, we are up three, trying to run the ball out before we know what happens. So we do our split zone again. Decent little game. Oh, 42 is curse. Who's Kennard? What number is he? Is he still on the Lions? That makes more sense. Curse was all over the place. But anyway, ride that B gap. All flows, but backside does a good job. I'm not super mad at that. Uh, he pressed the B gap a little bit, and then the natural cutback opened up. All right, fourth and one. We're down. Okay, this is the one everybody's like, oh, we're short. I kind of lost it after the fumble and uh, they scored. But, yeah, we tried to bring it back. So this is probably the play everybody wants to see. So let's see here. All right, so fourth and one for the game. All right, um, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, they got seven, so somebody, the backside usually is going to be gone. Well, we got a tight end as well, and they run in split. So either way, if you run split, then the tight end comes back there, whatever. So Leno, now this is this actually, this does make it a little bit tough because um, Canards here and the ends to the outside. Technically, you would want Leno to come up to that backer. And then Whitehair has him head on. And then these two would combo here. 
and then your fatty would go backside and um, if Graham is on a split he would come here now you got too many people you got seven and so with this somebody's gonna be unblocked the way you set it up with a split zone the place I end is gonna be unblocked I don't particularly like that so for me there needs to be some type of check there needs to be some type of discussion hey screw the split zone uh, Graham you take him and we leave this backside in wide open shoot if anything you could read this. I'm not sure. I don't remember where the receivers are lined up, but you could put a read option on that. But either way, right now we're we're outnumbered. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be a problem. Now the end slides in last second, which means he should be unblocked. And bars gets worked. So we got a lot, lot. A lot of gang stuff going on. <laughs> so Bars needs to overtake this guy, and it looks like he got beat because Mustafer is just supposed to help him out and then go to linebacker. Oh, my. You know what? I'm going to blame David Montgomery on that, and this is the same thing we talked about the whole entire time. Your path. If the B gaps, either way, you pass right here to this guard. If he's in the B gap, it's through this A gap. That's your path. Now, if you run on this path, you get that first down. But you hesitate because Bar's man fights back, uh, backside, which is fine. In, a, in this zone, that's fine, because his man's going to swim backside. Whatever, we're going this way. The only reason he's able to make this play backside is because Montgomery's hesitating, and he's headed right here. That's not where the play is. And that is all she wrote. So uh, that was a lot, obviously. Actually, it was shorter than I thought it was. But um, what would I say? Um... I mean, they, they look good. I would say a Fetty. We ran a lot of splits. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to compare it to before. Uh, Massey messed up a little bit on the backside. A Fetty, I think, did a better job. I think um, that white hair is just the much better option at left guard when you're talking about clearing people out in the zone. Um, I think. Daniels was starting to get there, but before he got hurt, um, Leno's not asked to do a whole lot. It's kind of the same thing each time. Um, Mustafer is doing a good job. He's got good movement. Bars seems to be a little bit of a weak link, but um, overall, I think the Lions were a little misaligned early, but then they really started to they really start to play a little smart with the zone. Um, but I think it was just good movement by the line as a unit. Um, and some plays again, Montgomery, I think took himself out of Cordero as well. Um, but there were some plays they made the correct, uh, read and they really took it for what it's worth because that's the thing zone, unless you completely just overload the box, the inside zone is designed where you got to make the defense wrong. And so even if they play, like, again, if the linebacker shoots the gap instead of sitting at the second level, if they slant one way uh, towards the um, play or away from the play or whatever they do is opening up another spot, you just got to be smart enough as a back to know where that is. But that last play, um, I, I wouldn't have ran split zone. But I will still say that was on Montgomery, I think. Um, as far as our run game, I mean, I do think there's a little more power with Mustafer, Bars, and Whitehair. Uh, Leno, I don't think is any different. Obviously, there's a little more power with a Fetty at right tackle. But pass protection-wise, it's not something I like to see. Um, so there's a little more power on the line, but we're, we're still running the same concepts uh that we were running before 
Um, nothing different. And then I do think um, the Lions don't have as much talent as some of these teams. So uh, we got a little bit more movement on them. But anyway, that's it for me. Go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Share it around. Get the conversation started. And remember, stay up and bear down.